Hey everybody, Arnaldo Offerman here with the Airstream DMX Bridge Video Manuals. Now, in a couple of the last videos that I made, I really talked about the LTP, latest takes priority values of the software, but it works a little bit differently than the way you may be used to because of how this program handles scenes. Now, in most traditional DMX softwares, you have a scene that once you click it, it you know, works great, but when you go back to your editor, sometimes it doesn't show you the actual, you know, faders moving live or whatever the case may be. This one does. These are what I call active or dynamic scenes. So no matter what you choose, you can override on the spot. And this is really interesting. Let me show you an example of that. I'm going to go ahead and I have these two scenes on right now. This is from the last video. And notice that when I go into my channel mode, that it pretty much keeps things exactly how they were chosen. But watch what happens. If I hit the, let's say here, the 4SO, actually not 4SO, sorry. If I shut that off and just have the pocket on, now everything shuts off. So what the channels tab does is not only allows you to program, but it also shows you the active state of the faders. So let's go back over here to the pocket spot tropical swirl. And let's say that I actually want to shut this effects off because not only does it do that with the scenes, it does that with the effects. See the effects tab? As soon as I shut that off, the effects go off. Now it's not the other way around. I can turn that on without turning on the scene. So I'm going to go back to the scene. We're going to turn that on. But I'm going to shut off the effects. Bam, the lights are parked. So this would allow me to create another effects if I wanted to. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And we're just going to do a circle. There we go. We're going to save it. We're going to go here. And it's going to be called... Oops, make sure. On number three, there we go. It'll often keep that file name from the last one. Circle, because it's based on the scene. Circle, pocket, done, save, effect has been saved, assign. All right, now we go back to our effects, and I can select that. But what's really interesting is that it does not override the actual scene unless I save it. Now I can click on assign and save it as a new scene. I can save the original scene or I can busk it, meaning I'm running it live. In this case, I'm going to busk it because as soon as I shut that off and I turn it back on, let's go back to our effects tab. It goes back to the first effect that I made and this applies with anything. So imagine the scene not as a saved set of instructions, but a saved set of faders uh, on your channels of your effects that all make together almost like a macro but it does save it in scene form but it's more dynamic it's more active it allows you to really run stuff live if you wanted to I'm gonna give you another example while I'm running the effects let's say I don't like the swirly I want to circle pocket so we're doing that right and suddenly we need to just quickly grab it and point it somewhere on the floor bam I'm gonna grab it and now they're parked now I can grab it on the spot so again, busking to the extreme, even though the circle pocket's already chosen, if I want to override it back up, I'm going to go back to my effects, shut it off, turn it back on, and there it is. It overrides the faders tab. But I can go back to my channels, and I can change my colors. So if I need sudden white, there it goes. So this is really good for DJs that only want to create a few basic scenes or bands or whoever's using this, even, you know, club DJs or if you have a nightclub and your main LD is in there, this is an easy way to let somebody new to the game just have a few basic scenes and let them control everything live. So again, that's just a quick insight of how the scenes work. Very different than your traditional DMX software, but I believe that's one of the things that make the Airstream DMX bridge so much more fun because I don't have to pre-program everything ahead of time. I can really just run it live, see what I like, what I don't like, and if I do like something, then I can save it. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go into my scenes. I really should charge this up at some point. And we're going to click on Assign. We're going to go into number 7. And we're going to call it Pocket White. And this is going to be called Pocket White Fast. And we're going to just choose Green for Fast. Because mean, Green means Go. Save. Oh, I got to click Done. I don't think I ever clicked Done there. Overwrite. And there it is. So now it's saved. But if I go back to that Tropical Swirl back on it swirly it's right on the proper colors 
if I go back to the fast, it's on the circle pocket and on a different set of colors there. So thank you guys so much for watching. Any comments, questions, death threats, whatever the case may be, please make sure to leave them below. If you guys have not clicked that subscribe button, make sure to do so. All the cool kids are doing it. Thank you so much for watching. Good night and God bless.